Hi, this is Rick Brandenburg for North Carolina State University Turf Bugs and Rock and Roll. And since the last video, I've gotten uh, literally hundreds and hundreds of thousands of, of email messages and voice messages and tweets and twits and all that other sort of stuff. I'm wondering if Caleb actually got injured in, in last week's video. And I just want you to know that Caleb's fine. Come on in here, bro. Uh, he's fine. He's tough. Um, he's Only able. three days in the hospital. Uh, you didn't need to say that. Go on. Uh, anyway, he'll be available for coming videos, but I want to make sure everybody's clear on that, that uh, he is still with us. And I did want to talk about something that I think is really important. I'm going to switch away from my normal talks and talk about something that's been in the news quite a bit the last couple of months, and that is uh, bee kills, uh, significant bee kills with the use of insecticides in the landscape. And there's one point I want to make on this. Some of the cases, and I'm not saying all the cases or whatever, but some of the cases appear to be through misapplication. And misapplication is not following the label and applying it to certain species when they're blooming. Well, we know that bees are attracted to blooms, and if you apply some of these products, uh, particularly the neonicotinoid, which are products like imidacloprid or merit, uh, the meridians, and, and, and you know these products, um, they, they're all in that group, and, and even Safari and, and, and Xylem, Dinotephron. Um, they can be toxic to bees, and if you use them properly, it really reduces that risk. But if you use them not according to the label, um, there's, you're increasing the likelihood of a problem. And the bottom line is, I got no patience for people to do that. Uh, we've had these instances over the, the three decades that I've been working this business, and we've lost some products because of people not properly using the products, abusing them, not following the label. So man, that label's the law. So, so follow it and uh, help avoid some of these issues that we see every now and then. That's just my encouragement. Stay with the plan. Uh, we'll talk to you again next week. We'll be talking about uh, white grub control and getting your treatments out on time. Hope that helps you. Look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks.